Hello, Captains, it's me, Tonic TZW. I'm here in the Tier 7 British Tech 3 Destroyer, the Lightning, one of my favourites, and it even remains one of my favourites, even though I've got 390 ships now. And if you like that camo, it is called the Winter Lightning. And uh, yeah, I do have uh, a Union Jack camo and uh, a Shadow camo all at max level on that as well. But uh, I'm here with Rabbit and with Dan, and over there on Red Team is AJ21, who I haven't seen around in the game for a long time but he's going to be on the opposite side of the map to us and we've got a cap and we're going to play a cap and i did drop in another video um, showing that i've been playing this cap a slightly different way by moving across to the right rather than the left but for those of you that want to um, try and bump into me in game and try and uh, take me out let me just uh, tell you now that i don't play this cap the same way every single time so don't always come across to this side of the cap looking for me we've got a couple of big ships out there and uh, it's good to see that none of the none of our team are abandoning their caps they're trying to play the caps be it b cap c cap or even a cap across here we've got torps out running for that guys now we do get a torpedo hit so that means the destroyer is there we've taken 14 and a half thousand hit points off him no dev strike though so um he's obviously a little bit chunky but we lose our destroyer but so do red team on b cap and the zara out there who's going to have a pretty big game for himself is uh, going to back off but then he's going to have another crack at it red team on the other hand decide that they are going to run away from b cap and that is going to leave it wide open for blue team to sail on it and take it for free now I backed off because that Bismarck was running in and obviously he's got sonar. Rabbit is here and I'm saying right let's get rid of that guy now, get rid of the Bismarck. We can push back on the cap but we also have a lion and I think is it in Alabama that have pushed around from Bravo and uh, they are coming in this direction too so things are getting a little bit sticky um, there we go there's the lion he looks like he's going to stick on the corner i put my torps out there but we're spotted by the destroyer there we go that's a one shot wonder we pop smoke we drop detection and i want to get back on the cap and get turned for torpedoes and keep these guys spotted but it's going to be a sticky wicket to play from. I don't want to be an island boy, so I'm going to slam the brakes on there to Georgia, not in Alabama. So there we go. If I hadn't overrun my smoke screen, I could have put a little hurt on these guys, and I was a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to get much damage on because they were closing this cap down. Rabbit goes out of the game and uh, to the Georgia, and that leaves Dan. And I'm like, okay, let's um, get rid of the Georgia. Let's see what we can do here trying to play a safe distance i don't want to get located or i don't want to get detected and uh, dan's burning he's kind of broadside of these two guys and i'm saying you know um will the rebuild i'll come in don't be broadside of this guy let him get behind the island and uh, we're just trying to track him and see where this lion is going he is going to tuck in on the island for safety where he can't be seen my sonar's down so i don't know if he's coming left if he's coming right and i tell dan you know bow in halt position and uh, if he comes out in front of you drill him i'm going to go a little bit wider keeping an eye on where my detection radius is on the minimap so that i can get onto this cap without being spotted from wherever he is behind that island and uh, blue team seem to be um, they've mopped up pretty well on b cap c cap is uh, contested still they've got two ships across there i think we've got one across this side and uh, it's now time to get on this cap and flip it so you'll see that all three sets of ships have played their caps in this one we didn't abandon anything even though we got a hard push on this side we didn't you know we didn't run away we stayed we fought and even though that lion's pretty much at full health still um, i'm thinking can i get a fire on him i think he knows that um 
there's probably torpedoes coming but we pick ourselves up a high caliber we run you know with two torpedoes a hundred and forty one thousand damage there and uh, i didn't actually believe that my damage total was that high because the, the contribution to the game um, seems quite minimal at this point um, all i've done is play a cap try to prevent red team from taking it you know doing what a destroyer does smoke spot drop torps get on the guns and i think what's he going to do now is he going to keep backing up and yeah there is a destroyer out here somewhere he's across there on charlie cap so he's no risk to us but this lion has obviously got these big super british heels and the fact that i smoke up means that he's going to start moving forwards because he knows torpedoes are on the way but he pulls out in front of dan and rng absolutely screws him for a broadside shot on that lion which is disappointing hugely disappointing he has damage controlled his fires and so i am just going to try and keep wailing on the shots knowing that his guns are focused on dan but keeping an eye on his turrets because he is going to want to take a pop at me and i am pushing in closer and closer and putting myself at risk but if he pops a salvo at me then he's not popping a salvo at dan and dan's got much bigger guns than me and could do more damage so i'm literally just being a thorn in the side of this guy we drop our smoke and uh, we decide the game is nearly up the point is nearly up there's another fire and you'll see we're on 987 the guy is burning and it just seems to be no matter what we do here we can't kill this guy he's damage controls he gets two medals out of that i think dreadnought and fireproof because we just weren't able to kill him 179 and a half thousand damage literally a single cap a single cap reset and a single kill and it surprised me at the start or rather at the end that i finished on 3300 base xp but good communication from the division there good play from the division um all fleet mates and so thank you very much to dan and rabbit for joining in on that one um i think we had a lot of fun i hope you have enjoyed watching this one as always smash the like button leave me a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so um let me know what your favorite tier 7 tech tree destroyer is in the comments and as always until next time take care of yourselves and goodbye